Assessing a learner and confirming their success can be very rewarding. However, there are risks involved. Being aware of these risks will hopefully help you to minimise or prevent them from occurring. The risks apply not only with regard to the health, safety and welfare of all concerned, but also what might occur in your own area of responsibility for your particular subject. Just ask yourself, what could possibly go wrong? Can you think of something when there is a risk? So you've got risks to learners. So you need to minimise risks such as putting unnecessary stress upon learners. Over-assessing, under-assessing or being unfair and expecting too much too soon. Learners might not be ready to be observed regarding practical skill or feel so pressured by target dates for a theory test that they resort to colluding or plagiarising work. When assessing written work, you will need to be aware that some learners, intentionally or not, might plagiarise the work of others. Learners should take responsibility for referencing any sources used in all work submitted and may be required to sign a declaration or an authenticity statement. A risk to yourself could be if you carry out assessments in a work environment and visit places which you're not familiar with. So you might need to travel early or late in the dark, find locations on foot, take public transport or drive to areas with which you are not familiar. If you're visiting places on your own, You'll be classed as a lone worker and your organisation should have a policy for your protection. Having a mobile phone is helpful in such situations. If not, note where the nearest public phone or shop is. You may find it useful and use satellite navigation when driving and or to search the internet beforehand for the postcode you're visiting. The results will show you a street map and pictures of a local area to enable you to visualise where you're going. The type of employment contract you have may also pose a risk. So in fact, for example, if you work more than one organisation, you work for more than one organisation, it could be difficult to determine who you report to if you have any concerns. And that's where the standardisation of practice might also be difficult if assessors are not always in the same location or working for the same organisation. Besides, risk to learners and to yourself, there are other risks which you might encounter if you're assessing in the work environment you might come across employers who are not very supportive of their staff. So, for example, someone who might make it difficult for you to visit at a certain time in order to carry out a formal assessment. But if you can, try to build a good working relationship with your learner's employer or supervisor.